in Mega H if it is in if it is in Mega H is this magnesium? Yes. Is well, no. No. Um, Mega H is is the silica hydride. It's, it's it's like the old old one. And uh, the right now the um, GOH is the only only people who have the the magnesium. Although that's that. I, I intend on coming out with the, with my own magnesium product in the uh, in the future, but I've been giving them a lead time on them, like more, so that they have the advantage of the lead time. Although though the way things set up, I don't sell to Europe directly anyway, so I mean I don't sell to Europe, so so there will be no competition. So that's good. Is that what? No, it's a check again. Oh. Um, like I said, oh. we have started. Well, in some ways, the silica hydride can be a waste, uh, somewhat of a waste, because when you take it, it releases more rapidly in the body. And when it releases, um, you have some excess. Uh, many people probably experienced uh, what we call a hydrogen burp, which is a, you know, a, a burp, except that if you happen to be talking, your voice goes up, because the hydrogen, the, the speed at which sound conducts in hydrogen, a little bit like helium, and um, but because it releases all at once, you feel you feel a burst of energy. But it's as far as the body goes, it's not the most efficient way of using the hydrogen because, um, um, well, because it's not time release. The um, the new magnesium product releases it slowly, but uh, from what I what all of our studies uh, seem to show that it's being one hundred percent utilized by the body. Uh, each product, a capsule of each, was actually releasing the same amount of H minus ions as far as the, the quantity of H minus ions. It's just that it takes a, a, a longer time. And because it's released more slowly, you don't get that burp. You absorb all of the ions into the body instead of, instead of expelling them, and uh, some of them. So uh, it is as effective. It's, it's just that some people are, have uh, become uh, used to that instant release. And uh, all I can say is take more of it. <laughs> 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 and, and, and you can get your, uh, maybe, maybe you'll get the lift that you want right away instantly. Um, the other thing, of course, is that you can drink it with some orange juice or, or with uh, some kind of uh, grapefruit juice or orange juice. And that will speed up its release a little bit. Um, in the body because it's acid yes and um, but other than that it's extremely effective and extremely efficient and the other other thing of course is that um, uh, worldwide uh, in our estimation about 80 percent of people are magnesium deficient and so uh, ma the magnesium released uh, is very easily utilized in the body uh, by this product uh, so we're releasing the H minus ions and and magnesium. So uh, in many ways, it's a superior product because it is time release, and uh, and it's taken me all these years to develop it. So uh, you are the the beneficiaries of my latest research. So it's a special kind of magnesium that you can use. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Well. It's, it's it's a magnesium coupled with the hydrogen. There there is such a thing in chemistry called magnesium hydride, but that's it's a different structure than what we have, because the magnesium hydride in chemistry is is uh, releases magnesium violently, mm -hmm. and you couldn't take it into your body because mm -hmm. it, it would be harmful. But but this particular uh, is very because it's it's time released is why it's so safe and so good and so effective. Is because it happens to be time release. Okay. Um, talking about the structure of chemicals, um, is there what they call geometry or um, special? Well, part part of the, the the time release basis is the fact that that we are also using still using microcluster silica, and the microcluster silica balls are um, are in the product. And during this time release 
in the body, some of the hydrogen moves into the silica and also into the silica, and that's part of the part of the time release controlled mechanism of, of the product. And uh, so it, it's engineering wise, it, it we still have the little balls, but but the uh, but the hydrogen is released in a, in an entirely different way. The H minus ions are released in an entirely different way, and uh, it it turns out that uh, as you know in 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 Europe they uh, we had s uh, some small uh, quantities of uh, element boron uh, in in the silica hydride, and the European, uh, especially German government, is against boron being in foods in, in virtually any quantity. Uh, we don't have that in, in other parts of the world in the United States. In fact, uh, boron is is an element that is considered to be non-toxic and is also uh, used uh, against arthritis and uh, many kinds of joint problems, things like that. And uh, so I consider it to be a very good element, but uh, uh, the new formulation does not contain any boron whatsoever. Uh, and uh, is um, is magnesium based, so so in many ways it's a, it's a superior product. Mm -hmm. okay, so again, so the structure. So in fact, you didn't change the structure of the, um, the of micro the clusters. Microclusters. Yeah, the micro cluster, mm -hmm. micro. You have to understand it's the micro cluster mm -hmm. silica that has the ball structure. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, and it didn't change. No, that did not change. We take magnesium additional UNO. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Are there no microclusters in the USP chains because you didn't label them the microclusters as they might have written in the chains? You didn't do additional uh, microclusters in the USP chains. It's just uh, the carrier for the carrier. It's the carrier. It's this the same amount same amount of microclusters. Well, I, I don't know. I feel the effect. When I take magnesium, I feel it right away. I don't know about you or about uh, other people, but uh, I feel it right away, and, and I've given it to um, a fairly large number of, of people in, in my uh, group of friends here, and, and they all feel it too. So I'm, I'm not sure when when some people say say that they felt the other one. Uh, also, there could just be some prejudice because you know, you get used to one product, and, and uh, when it changes, uh, some people wish they still had the old one, but they can't can't have the old one anymore. So, so they uh, the, the the new one is just as effective. Um, it, it's just uh, be, because it's a different mechanism that it feels differently in the body, but it's the same 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 end result. You've got a um, equation on your website. No, those those are just uh, measurements that we've made. You made them. We so made them. No, it's, it's no literature. It's what no. no, we've made them. Yeah. We we are the first people who have made those measurements, and we published them. Most most of those measurements are published in our papers that are actually, you know, in medical journals. They've been accepted.